Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And hey, you have to go to Dark Know. Master A. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> But um, one thing I did want to ask you as well, too, because, like like I said, uh, you know, someone you you know, obviously, uh, Kung Fu Vampire, we had him on the show. But uh, he kind of talked to us in the interview with him um, about the reason he stopped using face paint. And, um, you know, because he just kind of felt like it pigeonholed him into a specific thing. And that, you know, people outside of the juggalo culture and people who are familiar with that kind of culture almost, you know, pigeonholed him in that and almost didn't give his music the fair chance. So I was just curious if you ever feel the same way about your your music and your image. I hear I hear people say stuff like that, but I I I I, I, I disagree a hundred percent. Yeah. I disagree a hundred percent. I just did a show, uh what was that week before last but um uh, Lost Boys. Yep. Cheeks. You know yeah. Uh, in New York City. Out here in um in um in Brooklyn. And uh, people were fascinated by it. Yeah. People were people people were actually attracted to it. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta remember, New York City knows nothing about the juggalo culture. Yeah. So to them, it's something brand fucking new. <laughs> to them, it's something that just nobody else is doing. I was at a movie premiere a couple months ago for a song I did for a soundtrack for a movie. Shout to Blood Mix that's coming out Thanksgiving. I did the sound. I did a song for a soundtrack. It's gonna be dope. Um, I showed up at the movie from there, totally fitted up, dude, in a suit and fucking tie. Yeah. People were fucking amazed by it. People wanted to take pictures with me. Then people wanted to know about my music. Then people wanted to know about my career. Then people wanted to know what I was doing. Yeah. Because you stand out, right? It's different. Not the, ten, not the ten other rappers who were there on the same fucking, um, on the same fucking soundtrack. Yeah. People wanted to know who the fuck I was. Yeah. So I, I, I disagree 100%. Okay. And I understand where he's coming from. Yeah. Kung Fu, because Kung Fu is a very brilliant man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you ever actually sat down and, and, and had, had lunch with Kung Fu. He's a very brilliant man. I understand exactly what he means. But uh, it all depends on what direction you're trying to go. Yeah. And in this hip hop world, and then, and then, uh, the, 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 the shit, if I jump out on stage with fucking who can't play because some shit like that, because like, yo, who's that fucking guy? You know what I'm saying? That's true. Or not even bootcamp clip. Let's just say I jumped out with a whole bunch of fucking rappers who were like a million times even doper than I was. Right? You're the one who's going to stand out, though, because, you know, people are going to be like, well, who's that dude with the paint? They're not going to remember the nigga with the super fucking illest bars they ever heard in their motherfucking life. Yeah. They're going to remember the nigga with the paint on. Yeah, that's facts. What? That's facts, man. And that's how I feel about it. And you know what? When Eminem first hit New York City... When 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 the high my name is came out, guess what? I thought the song I first heard that song was fast, but uh, him being a white boy, I think made more people listen to him. Yeah, because you got your vanilla ices, you got the other dudes named Milk or some shit like that, who were like absolutely terrible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Marky Mark and all these dudes, even Bud Bundy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who, like, Absolutely, like the streets was not feeling them, and then Eminem came out being a white boy, and then had the nerve to be fucking dope as fuck. Yeah, you gotta respect it now. Yeah, regardless of what he looks like. Because if Eminem was to be a part of Wu Tang, he's gonna be the white boy in Wu Tang. Yeah. If Eminem was a part of fucking Boot Camp Click, he's the white boy in Boot Camp. Oh, you know the white boy? Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna stand out. That's his face paint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the fact that he's contending with actually with hip hop artists. You know what I'm saying? If I if I plan on just staying in a juggler lane, I just doing songs with other juggler artists, then yeah, I'm gonna get lost in the I'm gonna get lost in the sauce. I'm gonna get lost in the crowd of other motherfuckers that think they too. Of course. But if I wanna if I wanna start competing on these songs with these big names, like Chris Rivers. Yeah. Like Billy Dan, those are big fucking names. No one's ever done that. Yeah. No one's ever done that. And actually had bars. Yeah. 